Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again. As a disclaimer, this video is not bashing women. For all the women that do check out my videos, they obviously know the type of videos that I have. I just put this disclaimer out here for those who may run across my video who have not visited my channel yet. I say that only a few women talk about male nature because really there's only a few women out there that can talk about male nature because there are only a few women out there in this society. <laughs> there are mostly females in this society and most females haven't truly really encountered male nature. And if so, they despise male nature. They reject male nature because as I've said before, in a lot of my female nature videos, Male nature is godly, whereas female nature is ungodly. The unique thing about male nature is that given that it is 80% logical, there are some advantages of male nature versus female nature. Female nature is 80% emotional. And this is based on the whole yin and yang paradigm and even all of our biological, uh, yeah, all of our biological makeups per se. This is all within consistence of those things per se. Um, so this means that in regards to the nature of male nature, a man has an idea of what male nature and female nature is. Whereas with a woman, her knowledge of male nature comes with her being around men who have shown her a good example. But also in regards to her female nature, she's also once again is around a man who has shown her good examples. You know, as far as her temperament and things like that is concerned. Yeah, her temperament becomes, you know, easier to deal with and things like that. Because uh, female nature is like an unbridled horse. Okay. And uh, so with a woman, she's obviously has learned over time through masculine examples how to calm her temperament in order for her to be a decent type of a woman in this world, because it's in my opinion that a woman can't be a woman without a man. I mean, <laughs> you know, otherwise she's a woe to a man. Mm -hmm. So there's only a few women that can actually speak about male nature because they'll only speak about it from the highest of esteem based on the men that they've encountered and the men that are still in their life. Basically, they're not single females out here trying to talk about male nature or let alone trying to have their perception of what female nature is. You know, a woman is someone that can testify to the fact that what she's talking about is based on the fact that she's living it. You know what I'm saying? She's not out here just you know putting on the show um and so that's why i believe there's not too many women out here that can actually talk about male nature <laughs> because for the most part you know there aren't too many women out here who actually still have a man in their life you know and i don't say that as a bash i mean what i mean by that is that yes there are not many women out here literally there are not many women out here. Therefore, there are not many women out here who are examples of what a woman is because a woman actually has a man in her life. A female doesn't. A woman has a man in her life. And therefore, she can attest and testify and, and talk about, okay, I have a man in my life. So I know what it's like to have a man. I know what it's like to, to what a man is like. I know what male nature is like. Because my man shows me, the man in my life per se, he shows me that every day. You know, 
My father showed me that. My brother showed me that. My cousins, my uncles, my great grandfathers. You know what I'm saying? They showed me that. And the women that grew up around those masculine examples can definitely talk about male nature. But it's very far few and in between. Very far few and in between. Because usually those same women that even grew up around their brothers, they had that same regard and respect for their brothers that they carried over into the men that they had in their life. The man, actually, not the men, but the man, because a woman ain't trying to have men. She's trying to have a man, <laughs> you know, in her life. Yeah. So all of that that she had in regards for her brother, all this respect that carried over and she ended up with a man in her life. And so it just all was fluid. So what you see really is if you had a female that did grow up amongst her brothers and her male kin folks, per se, she either grew up around those masculine types and, and they did not set good examples for her. So that affected her as she developed into her adulthood. She did not fully become a woman or she had a respectable brother. But she just did not have respect for him. She was still rebellious. So once again, she grew up into her adulthood, but not truly becoming a woman. She's still a female and she's still lacking those essential things as far as what male nature is about that she can explain and express because of these things that she has had in her life. What you get is a bunch of fickled and fragmented talking points from females who think they know what it's like to have men in their life. Let alone them maybe having their ideas of what even a woman is. You you have this out there, and that's the unfortunate part. So it has silenced a lot of women, but I think in a good way, because women that take on masculine principles, they realize maybe the best thing I need to do is not say anything. Let them talk. I'll continue to do the walking while she's doing the talking. I have a man in my life. They don't. That's why they run in their mouth. And so for all the women, the very few women that know about male nature, because you've had masculine examples in your life and you have a man in your life, not a male, feel free to hit that like button, share this video and much love to y'all to the very few women that can talk about male nature. Signing out.